Hello, this video is a brief update on some pianos we've just got into stock. This is the Foyric 133, it's Foyric's top range piano and has a, a delightful tone. I really can compare this to an upright Steinway, although the price is much less, the tone is quite magnificent, the design is tremendous. And this particular one, they've incorporated an LED light, uh, it's not switched on at the moment, but it shines down onto the music, it's a really good idea. And the touch on the piano is very similar actually to a Steinway upright. Uh, it, it feels slightly different to the average piano, mainly because the downweight is almost spot on concert downweight, but the upweight is quite low. And then we're talking about that in other videos. It's, it's really, really nice to have a low upweight because of much more control feel. And this is the Foric 125, it's a slightly shorter piano and as you can see has, has some casework design features that uh, just lift it above the ordinary. Internally very similar, just a bit shorter and also excellent break point. You can always tell for a high quality piano by the break point between the, the treble and the bass, just how well they can disguise the fact that that note is uh, string going to a different part of the soundboard from that one and also these ones here how well do they match in the three strings with the two strings and that's really as good as you can get you also have some one two twos which is our most saleable one slightly cheaper obviously and this this needs voicing which it will be done there's a variety of tone on this and it needs tuning as well actually and uh, another same piano but also needs voicing in fact that he's voicing even more and is more out of tune so uh, those two need working on. Here's a Steinway upright that we've nearly finished reconditioning. Um, it has a mellower sound, very beautiful touch. The keys uh, need a bit of work, well there's work to do on this still, about probably about a week's work left. This piano has been previously restored and well restored. Um, we don't need to fully redo it. We do fully redo Steinways very often, but obviously this would be less expensive than a fully redone. But that's a beautiful base, typical Steinway really, and a very, very nice uh, fluid touch. It's also seen from the mid treble. The mid treble really is the most important area of the piano because that's where you play your melody. Casework on this Steinway, by the way, really needs French polishing. Though obviously, that's just cosmetic. Here's almost the same Steinway here that we've, uh, same year of Steinway and model that we've uh, re uh, French polished for a client. This is uh, about 30 coats of French polish and then wax to give a nice, uh, so as you see the grain really clearly. So that's just a quick look at some of the stock we've just got in and comparing it with the Steinway. We have other really, really good old German pianos. So we've got a Richard Lip coming in tomorrow, which is one we sold before. It's a client's piano, she, he's downsizing, doesn't want a piano anymore, so, but it's a fabulous piano. But this Feurig. is a wonderful piano. The touch is superb. And for a new piano that's not incredibly expensive, you can't really do any better. The 125 is really an excellent piano too, and the 122 is if you can't really afford as much or if you just don't want such a big piano. This has been voiced beautifully by Foyric. Very, very little to do. Thank you for listening.